Hey guys, so the other day I found this spreadsheet on my computer. So back in 2013, I timed all of my PLL algorithms and wrote down the fastest time I got for all of them. And then in 2015, I went and improved on some of them. My average was sub 15 at the time. And as you can see, less than half of these PLL algorithms were sub one at best. I often get asked, how can I turn faster? Or how can I improve my TPS? The answer is actually really simple. Learn the right finger tricks and practice algorithms. But I know this answer is unsatisfying to many of you, as it would have been to me back in 2015 as well. See, I knew great finger tricks, and I had practiced turning for years, so why was I just not as fast as some other people? Now I can do every PLL sub 1, except for the end perms because I just can't, but I'm really close. And here's a story I've told a few times, but I'm not sure if I've ever told it on my channel. When I was averaging sub 30, or maybe sub 25, I felt like I had pretty fast turning capabilities, so I wanted to see if it was possible for me to get a world record. Uh, I knew I wouldn't get a world record, obviously, but I just wanted to see if it was theoretically possible. So I set up a super easy scramble with a PLL skip, and I knew every single move I was going to do right from the start. Okay, so the world record at the time was about 5 seconds, and the best I could do on this prepared solve was 7 seconds. 7 seconds even though I knew everything that was going to happen in the solve, which is already an unrealistic situation, so it was impossible for me to get a world record time, even if everything happened perfectly. But I was already turning at my fastest, so why was I not capable of going faster? It's because I sucked. Just because I'm trying my best doesn't mean that's the best I'll ever be. Skills take time to build, and with something like cubing, I feel like turn speed is something that you don't feel like there's that much to it and you don't feel like it takes that much time to build it up, but in reality it's just like anything else. Just because you know what to do and you're trying your best doesn't mean that there's no way you can be better. It doesn't mean you're at your limit. Think about sports or playing an instrument or creating art. Skills take a long time to build, even though you feel like you might be pretty good from the start. So since then, I've actually changed 14 of my 21 PLL algorithms to be better ones, at least ones that are better for me. I've worked on implementing a variety of finger tricks, some of them more creative than others, and I've practiced these in thousands of solves and practiced these algorithms on their own as well. So the truth behind everything is no matter what, you will suck for a long time. And if you're not okay with persevering through that phase, then you will never be great at anything.